Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Nancy. I wanted to briefly come to you today to wish you a good day and to, to also to, um, to announce, to make this welcoming to the, the Jupiter, the great planet Jupiter that's entering or will be entering in the sign of Scorpio, which reveals those more inner depths for Jupiter is a magnifier for anything that, uh, that Jupiter comes in contact with will become more uh, for the past few years. First, uh, uh, we're moving from Libra, so Jupiter was uh, highlighting all the social uh, reality in relationship how do we how do we all the relationships uh, before that in in virgo um, it was addressing the inner self how do we take care of ourselves health uh, what is our habits how do we purify ourselves um, the year before it was in leo so it was addressing the what do we really love to do what what is it that makes us feel good so jupiter is always like helping us and it is a planet of miracle we can use it to to ignite the fire or ignite the passion for it is a planet of expansion I wanted to comment briefly on those uh, on those paintings. I won't make it as long as I did in French, but I wanted to, to say those paintings are created in between three paintings. It's the astronomical paintings. There is 100 planets with their name and symbol. And um, for years I was the, doing a cosmic painting about the 10 major planets of the, the astrology. But then at some point I wanted to reintegrate more energies into those worlds, those planets. And so I used every planet that had already um, uh, an astronomical or astrological symbol attributed to them. In the new version, new painting, I had to, since I had it about a hundred more painting, I had to create those symbols for, the, for future uh, astronomers, astrologers. Some of them are really nice, they'll be able to use maybe those or invent new ones. But when I created those paintings, I did not really have an understanding of the insight of all the names in mythology, how they relate to that. So they, they came out as a um, as very um, intuitive, so to speak, uh, but since then I've been able to, to identify, and it's kind of interesting sometimes why certain planets are near each other. Uh, I'm also looking forward to having a, a much larger studio where I will be able to do those paintings in a much larger format. Um, I'm going to just briefly come uh, to show a little bit. Here the sun is represented as the Solaris Solara, or Helios and Vesta, the yin and yang, the divine um, the divine uh, uh, solar logos. Of, uh, here, the the Saturn, um, the sun is uh, having a smile and looking towards Saturn. The planet Saturn is is kind of looking because Saturn is the guide, the, the master guide of the of the solar system. It is the is the controller of time. Here we have the planet Jupiter with uh, Pluto on the bottom, and here there is the all the many inside planets that uh, makes up the the. The, what you would call the, 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 the it's like a belt of asteroids that were that, that were uh, that, that came into being as the result of the destruction of the planet Maldek, which was a huge planet that was destroyed, and now there is a, all this uh, all those planets. So I'm not going to comment individually on all those planets, but um, here I want to say some. Uh, Poseidon, Kronos. It was pretty difficult to integrate this part. Uh, Ephrosim is a very important planet that is about the joy of living. Admetos is the sense of rebellion. Um, Ixion here is the sense of uh, being afraid of nothing, even though sometimes we should uh, be careful, but Ixion is, is a planet of daring. Uh, Anteramnia is a planet that helps us make transition between things. And all those planets have certain subtle energy. Orpheus is a, a planet of, uh, of music. He was the greatest music musician in Greece, Orphea. Um, then Chiron. Chiron is a planet of healing, of knowledge, of, uh, of understanding. Uh, Pallas Athena is the goddess of uh, uh, active intelligence. Uh, Diana is Artemis. It is a uh, it is, a, the, the, it is an energy of nature and uh, the protection of nature and, and uh, she, she's the huntress but, uh, but now it's, she's also always been very protective of the natural world. And, uh, Vesta is uh, Esta, she's a <coughs> planet that shows integrity. Uh, Juno is, uh, is Era, uh, the, the planet of, uh, of happy family life. Eros is the planet of love. It's a big, very big planet. It's almost as big as Mars, but it's not very, and it's very close to us, but it's not very well known. So I will, uh, I will hopefully we'll uh, be able to show and explain all this um, in books, catalogs, and exhibition really soon. 
I wanted to show that this was the first painting, but then I did another one. It's quite different, but on the same subject, I had it about uh, well, 10, 15 paint planets on this painting. And then, uh, and then the third one, I started adding even more planets. I don't know if you can... uh, of course, they're really difficult to see, for they are very subtle, and there is all kinds of... Uh, They have to work as a whole of a painting, but each detail can be uh, is kind of important as well. And those paintings are very encoded, they are symbolistic paintings, so, so the, there is all kinds of code. As you look at them, you cannot expect to, to decipher all the, the, all the secrets and mystery behind all those symbols in one quick look. Even for me, it's, it's, it's taking me years. I do not paint the, those paintings for anyone else, I paint them for my own spiritual evolution, because I, I kind of use that as a mirror, as a reflection of my own spiritual evolution, and that's how I use the, this creation of art. Soon I hope to be able to, to put it together in a way uh, um, that will explain those 30 years of creation of art that is uh, somewhat uh, a little bit avant-garde in relationship to contemporary art because it is a world of symbol and mystery about the about the soul and everything in my art is related on some level to, to, to spirituality although I also enjoy classical subjects like portraits, nudes and other still lives or whatever the, typical subject. I, I do enjoy uh, moving into a realm that has never been touched by, uh, by art or, or even um, or philosophy or even science. And those paintings are very different because they are uh, astrological. For, for this is my astrology. Uh, I, I started to add a lot more planets into that, so there is about uh, 40 more. And then here we have another 40 more, but this painting is not quite finished. But I started, I did all kinds of new, new uh, so the visual is not finished, but I'm starting this like a, this is like a blueprint. I started adding some uh, new planets like Themis, Esta, Sophia, uh, Aphrodite. Uh, what else? Uh, I added uh, Chloris, Dionysos. I had a Logos. I added Absolus, Fraternitas, Veronica, Aurora, Lucia, Achille. So I had it quite a, quite a lot, Tia, uh, Hector, well, Hector was maybe in the last one. Uh, here I did Nymph, I did uh, Moira, Harmonia, uh, Heracles, um, Olympia, Daphne, which turned into a, there was a, turned into a, a lorry, I'm not really sure how to, uh, then uh, Semele, which was the, the, the mother of Dionysos. Uh, the, those are symbols I'm working on. Uh, Amalte, you see here, the, the, the ghost, Amalte. Uh, Lumière, I think it was, uh, it was a symbol, that it was a planet that was called after the, the brother Lumière who invented cinema and not about the light. Here there is a planet given to the Buddha that I have here. Uh, there is all kinds of new planets that are integrated in relation to the other one, like Angelica, like Ambrosia, Mnemosine, the, the goddess of memory, Leto, the mother of, um, of uh, Artemis and Apollon, uh, here is of Rosim, Pax, which is the, the, the northern name for Maldek, here, that was the, it's still got, it was a huge planet, he only had a, a small asteroid now, his name, but it needs to be uh, uh, recognized, Medusa, those are Karma, uh, Memoria, Oceania, uh, Constantia, Callisto. I, I started adding all kinds of new planets. I'm still working on the uh, on the um, on the actual look, how, how this painting will look. I'm not really sure. There's all kinds of detail. I'm thinking here that I may just do uh, uh, may include some of the Egyptian uh, Egyptian gods, maybe uh, the whole like maybe we're finding a pyramid that open up to a sky. I'm going to put on some stars and all kinds of. Uh, of things coming up, but those paintings take quite a few years to, to realize. I'm not in any hurry. I'm going very slow. I'm trying to learn from every step, and uh, and, and the painting will call on uh, whatever it needs in terms of color or design, and everything um, takes time, but uh, it's uh, it's time well spent, I think. Thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day. I hope this, this message and video was interesting for you, and um, I'll talk to you later. Namaste.